Hi. So I look quite scary without my makeup on. My eyes look pretty red. <clears throat> Let's get on with the video. Um, right, the first item I have bought, these are from um, Look Fantastic. This one is. And the first item is um, Barry M Flawless Mist and Fix Makeup Setting and Body Spray Illuminating Finish. If I just... It's just a little spray thing. Right, I've never used these before. This one anyway. I normally use um, Urban Decay. But we shall give this a try. Okay, do you have to rub it in? Or? Oh, damn, that stinks. Oh. Right, so first thoughts, it stinks. Leaves your skin feeling quite sticky. Um, it did only cost three ninety nine though, which is obviously why I'm trying it because, you know, if it was to be really good, then you know, four pounds not bad, is it? Um, so yeah, overall, a bit sticky. That's it. And the foundation that I have got is Fit Me Maybelline New York. Matte Poreless Normal to Oily Skin 107. Does it really focus well, does it, this camera? Damn, so bad. So, yeah. I will be using my Real Techniques sponge to put that on, though. I haven't purchased any... Um, any... Uh, brushes or anything like that see brand new have not used it this was 5 99 which if it is a good foundation is a really good price um let's give it a try Ugh. Okay. Wow. I need to sort my lighting out. It's really bad. Um, but in all fairness, this is my first makeup video. I am a beginner. Um, so yeah. I mean, it actually feels quite creamy. It's doing absolutely nothing for the creases, though. I mean, I don't know if I go closer for the creases under my eyes. It's not very good. But the rest of the skin, it seems okay. I have like really oily days in my skin sometimes, especially like the pores on my nose. Oh my God, they can be really bad. Like I've had to restart my makeup so many times. You start sweating a little bit and it's like everything just goes. Um, it's all right. It's not great coverage. Uh, not quite sure what else to say about this. Uh, I've noticed it's taken a lot to uh, a lot of foundation to do it. Normally, I'll use like two, three squirts, and I'm done. But this seems to be a little. Bit tough to uh, blend and spread. That could be because of the primer again. I don't know, but um, 
Gosh. My eyes are burning. Uh, so only got my forehead to do now. And the foundation's nearly done. God, what is that? Do you know, I've been thinking about, you know when people have their like facial hairs, what's it called, aquaplaning or whatever it is, not aquaplaning, I don't know what it's called, something like that anyway, but I have been thinking of having it done, but then it kind of scares me because what happens when you're older and you don't do it anymore, I mean, you're going to have a really hairy face, aren't you, like dark hairs as well. So, I'm in two minds. I mean, makeup would probably go on a lot better, but... Um, not too sure about the hairy face. So, that's the foundation. Mm. Pardon me. I don't know where that came from. Um, yes, so this is the foundation. It's okay. It's pretty, it feels light on the face. Um, but it does, I don't know, it feels like if I go like that, it's just gonna smear. Right, foundation done. Let's move on to concealer. Which is Barry M All Night Long Full Cover Coverage Concealer. And I got it in the shade or whatever. Oh my god, this is so bad. In the shade. It looks like this anyway, okay? Uh milk. Because I am really pale really really pale i found that a lot of um a lot of makes and stuff they don't do a concealer in a really light shade i have found that and it's a bit off put in because i don't want my concealer to be darker than my foundation obviously so oh, it's a bit of a struggle that is right Let's go. Let's put a bit here. Why? Everything seems to be burning my face. I don't know why. Okay, guys, bear with me, okay? It looks awful at the moment. Hopefully, it will smear into something nice. Let's hope so. Oh, Christ. Anyway. Mm. Mm. It's okay. I mean... I can't really... Wow, it's br <laughs> It brings out your wrinkles. And, you know... It definitely brings out your wrinkles. I am 30 years old though, so I'm allowed to have wrinkles. Um, it's not actually that bad. Oh God, forehead. This is going so well. Okay. I'm not going to say, I mean, I don't hate it. Let me, there you go. I don't know if you can see it a bit better if I do that. I'm not fussed, personally. It's not the worst concealer I've ever used. I mean, £3.59. 
it's all right in it for that i can't really moan can i right i forgot actually forgot to order um a blush as you do and also forgot to order eyebrow pencil because i'm really good at forgetting things i can't even open this i mean this bronzer is the wet and wild color icon bronzer uh there you go guys It actually looks decent. Oh my god, sorry guys. I'm not picking my nose. I just got a really... I had a really itchy bit there. Um, oh, come on. Do you know, I'd like this so much more if I could actually open it. This isn't fun, is it? Not fun at all. Oh. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. Okay. So. I mean, the lighting's really bad in here, so it's like hard for me to see on my phone. But if I use this, it's different. Again, not something that I would normally use, but it's. It's more of a shimmery highlighting bronzer than bloody. Uh, yeah. Mm. Can't really grumble. This was four ninety nine. So. I'm not moaning really. It's four nine nine, you know what I mean? It's a fiver. Okay. Put that. I normally put some down here. Make my face look a little bit thinner. Not that it actually works, but it's worth a go in it. Oh, I have some serious indigestion today, guys. Serious indigestion. Okay. That'll do for now. Next, we have Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. Um, this is in the shade Blossom Glow and I forgot to say the Wet n Wild bronzer was in Palm Beach Ready shade, okay? So this one's highlighting powder. It's got a nice colour to it. Another one of these uh, tricky opening things. Oh, come on. We'll get there. I'm so sorry, guys. You must be really bored by now. I don't understand why they have to put things on so... Why don't they just do that little seal thing that you pull and it just rips? 
rather than Okay, there's a tiny little strand holding it together. I think I can get through that. Here we are. So, highlighting powder. Let's give this a go. I love my highlighter. So, we'll put lots of highlighter on. Yes, lots of highlighter. Oh, you know, I think that might be quite good. I quite like that. That was um, four ninety nine. So again, another fiver. But if it's half decent, I don't mind. I don't mind paying for it. It's when you spend all this money on like big brands and stuff and they turn out to be not any good at all. That's what I hate. Okay, let's do a little bit of my nose. On my chin, just a tiny bit. You'll notice with me as well, I hardly really wear lipstick. I don't know why I put it on and within... 10 15 minutes of wearing it it's off i can't i don't know what it is I, it, I don't know what it is um right eyeshadow now we have wet and wild nude coma <laughs> nude coma nope i said it right i thought i said it wrong but guys this like Do I have to like uh, okay I don't know how to focus I don't know how to focus let's try and open this then shall we get this done oh my god my top is covered in highlighter bit of bronzer down there as well oh, it stuck to my finger really oh my god I'm so, I'm so stupid. I was trying to put it apart and that's kind of holding it together. So yeah. I'm on one today, aren't I? Okay. Weird little texture. Um, This was... one ninety nine. So... If it's rubbish, it's rubbish. If it's good, happy days. It is a single eyeshadow though, so I mean, oh, oh, I like that. Okay. It's like a, it's like a gel. It's not like a, powder it's a bit of a... oh wow I actually like that for one ninety nine. I think I got myself a bargain there let's do this one okay I pull some really weird faces when I'm doing my makeup. Okay. Goodbye. This is a really good buy. I like that one. Um, okay, next we're doing the mascara, which again, Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. So, yeah, it's waterproof as well. This is it. Waterproof, which is uh, always good. 
especially if you get drunk and have a little cry. It's not just me that does it, is it? Um, let's give this a go then, shall we? Hmm, I don't know what to think about the brush. I can't even tell if I'm touching my eye. Oh, no, there we are. I mean, it's okay for basic. Um, how much was this? Two pound fifty. To be honest, I don't think I'd pay two pound fifty for it. I'm not fussed on this at all. I'm actually wearing it all over my eye. Yeah, not a big fan. Not a big fan of that at all. I've even got it down here, look. To be honest, for a day, do you know what I mean? Like, walk into town or whatever. I don't think I'd... Normally, I, I wouldn't even bother putting anything on. Do you know what I mean? But if we're going to meet some friends and have a coffee or something, maybe... Yeah, maybe. I wouldn't mind this stuff. But... Like I said, I've bought all really cheap stuff, so if it is rubbish, then, you know. Right, this is, what is this? This is the Barry M Cosmetic Bold Waterproof Eyeliner in black. Yeah, because you guys can read that from there, right? And you can read upside down too clever um i'm gonna be pulling some really weird faces now i don't really wear eyeliner that often anymore i used to when i was younger i used to wear it all the time when i was younger all the time but as i've got older i've come to realize that normally on a night out at the end of the night my eyeliner's all over the place all smeared everywhere so I just don't bother putting it on anymore. I quite like this. I like it, but it does seem that it will smudge really easy. So, it goes on really easy though. It's nice. It goes on. Yeah, it goes on well. What the hell have I just done? Uh, okay. I don't hear it. It's okay. Let's see how much this cost. £3.19. It's a vegan... Vegan makeup product as well, which is good. Um, three pound nineteen for this. <laughs> it's already smudging, so I'm gonna say no. 
anyway, let's move on, shall we? Next, we have the Barry M Setting Spray Illuminating Flawless Hydro Fix Primer Water. And this cost £3.99 which is a bit of a bargain. Oh my God, my face is itchy, I can't itch it. I've got eyeliner on my fingers. Hmm. God, guys. Right, let's give this a go then, shall we? Waft it a little bit. <sighs> Again, it's got a bit of a soapy smell to it actually. It stinks a little bit. But, nah, it's okay. Let me have a feel of my skin. It's still a bit wet. It's still a little bit wet. Well, it worked all right. It didn't work too bad. So, as you can see, I really messed up there on my bloody eyeliner. Um, that highlighter, though, that highlighter, I love it. So, this is the overall look better look at the camera I mean it's not the worst thing I've ever seen it's nowhere near the best thing I've ever seen um all together all the makeup products cost £35.21 so that's a full face of makeup products for £35.21p which is I think that was pretty cheap but again some of the products were ridiculous this where is it i'll find it this stuff i definitely advise people to buy it because i'm look at it it's the shine it's amazing it's really good for 4.99 i think it's a really good highlighter but yes, um, I will be giving away some of my items um, as long as you don't mind. Like, they've literally been used once. Um, I, yeah, I'll be giving them away. You can have them. So if you just like or subscribe or whatever they tell you to do, I have no idea. This, Like, I'm a beginner. I don't know. Um... But yeah, if you could subscribe or like my channel or, I don't know, re recommend me. If Only if you found it interesting though. If you found it rubbish, then obviously don't because I just wasted your time. But if you think it's okay, then, uh, you yeah, know, give it a like or something. Basically just, um, yeah, or just write your name in the comments or something. So then I could get hold of you and sort out posting it to you. I'm obviously, I'm giving away this because it is the best product that I've used. Definitely the best product out of the lot. I mean, if you don't want this, then you could swap it for any of the others. But this is the best thing. So yeah. I shall see you in my next video, which will be tomorrow. Uh, just having a chat about sales and, you know how much things are, what sales are on, what who has good offers. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry if I've bored you with this. I mean, I bored myself a little bit. But um, <laughs> hopefully see you tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.